The head of state joined hundreds of other mourners at the late Ngidinwa's memorial at Parliament Gardens this afternoon. She died on the 14th of this month. President Gangop told mourners that as sad as the occasion was, the nation ought to pause and reflect on personal contributions to the development of the country at large, the way Ngidinwa did, pre- and post-independence. She will be remembered as a compatriot who remained remain committed to the service of the party and the people of Namibia as Minister of Labor, Social Welfare, Minister of Home Affairs and Immigration, Minister of Gender, Equality and Child, Child Welfare, and a very active parliamentarian. In a more personal tribute, the Namibian leader revealed that apart from being freedom fighters, the late minister was just like family to him. Comrade Gidinwa had shared with me some years ago that she used to see a signpost along the road to the airport, written Casa Rosalia. She wondered, who is this Rosalia? When she eventually asked me, Comrade, who is this Rosalia? Then I said, Comrade, the name Rosalia is the name of my mother who died when I was only 11 years old. I said, oh, my son. And from that moment, she became my mother. The founding president, Sam Nyoma, delivered a eulogy of the late Ngidinwa describing her as one of Namibia's unsung heroines. She stood out among those who performed their duties with exceptional dedication and a profound sense of determination and to defeat the South African white minority oppressors. Suffice to say, the late Comrade Dinwa worked fearlessly and tirelessly despite the curfew and the constant harassment by the minority colonial army of South Africa. Former President Tefika Punya Pohamba also paid his last respects in a message delivered on his behalf by Presidential Affairs Minister Franz Kapofi. She was a fearless woman of extraordinary militant courage and dedicated a freedom fighter whose unmeasurable contribution to the health and survival of the plan fighters during the bitter days of the struggle will always be remembered by many of us. Her body will lie in state for tonight and will be transported to Nkurunkuru on Friday. The former cabinet minister and Swapu Central Committee member will be buried on Saturday. Ngidinwa, who was 65 years of age, is survived by her mother, seven children and 19 grandchildren.